Hi, my name is Sequisha Patrick and this is my first YouTube um, entry and today I will be talking about the First Amendment and the cases and or current events that have anything to do with the way that it was decided. So I'm going to start off with the definition of the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. So in class we talked about if the hate speech, if hate speech and symbolic speech are protected under the First Amendment. Um, so I'm going to give you a legal definition of the term symbolic speech. So it is a legal term in United States law used to describe actions that purposefully and discernibly convey a particular message or statement to those viewing it, such as um, sit-ins, flag wavings, the Nazi symbol, flag burning, um, arm armband. So <clears throat> I want to get into one of the first current events that happened earlier um, this month and it's about the white nationalists and how they made up a, a group of other white nationalists and they marched and rallied to Charlottesville because of their statue being um being torn down it's centered around flags chants like blood and soil and other forms of speech such as you know having the right to bear arms they were marching down to expressing exercising their first amendment so personally i agree that that is their their right to do that you can't really stop anybody or change what they feel about anything anymore because there's always going to be some type of some type of violence someone's going to you know be offended but it's still their right to exercise their freedom of speech so in this case symbolic speech so the first case that I want to get into is the Texas versus Johnson 1989 it is about a guy named Gregory Lee Johnson he burned an American flag in Dallas Texas in 1984 to protest the policies of Ronald Reagan it was outside the 1984 Republican National Convention and the Texas court tried and convicted Johnson, but Johnson ended up appealing, arguing that his actions were protected by the First Amendment. Justice William Brennan of the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the constitutional law, agreed with Johnson and held that the flag burning constitutes a form of symbolic speech that is protected by the First Amendment and the majority they noted that texas law discriminated upon viewpoint because they thought they were more afraid with more afraid with the actual the actual emotions that it would arise out of people than the actual disruption of the whole thing you know they were more um afraid of the physical violence um Another one that I want to talk about is Tinker vs. Dos Moyes, 1969. Um, these two kids in high school, in Des Moines um, High School, Mary Beth Tinker and Christopher Eckhardt, they planned a public showing of their support for a truce in the Vietnam War. They decided to wear black armbands throughout the holiday season, but before they could actually sit there and, you know, go through with it, the principals of this moist learned of the plan and met on December 14th to create a policy that stated any student wearing an armband would be asked to remove it. If not, they will be suspended. So on December 16th, Mary Beth Tinker and Christopher Eckhardt uh, wore their armbands and were sent home 
because they knew that they were going to wear it all throughout the whole holiday season, they were not to return until after New Year's Day where the planned end of the protest was supposed to be. The students, through their parents, they sued the school district for violating the students' right of expression and sought an injunction to prevent the school district from disciplining the students. The district court dismissed the case and held that the school actions was responsible to uphold the school district. Um, so you kind of see the difference between how the burning of a flag is protected under the First Amendment and how wearing an armband to um, to make a truce for the Vietnam War, you can see how they're very much different. Um, what I'm going to say is that the Texas that um, Johnson, he was in this full right because this is, is what he believes in. He has the freedom to exercise his freedom of speech and because the Tinker versus this Moyes was so different, it's because he, they were in a school. So it's completely different trying to trying to come up with a reasoning of why they shouldn't do it because they are in a school. So I'm going to end it there and thank you for watching. Have a good day.